Welcome back to Channel Cup of Fave. Today we will talk about 16 creative ways to use old coffee grounds. Coffee is a popular beverage consumed all over the world. People usually discard the grounds left behind after it's brewed, but after reading this article, you may reconsider throwing them out. Coffee grounds have many practical uses around the home and garden and can even help spruce up your beauty routine. If you don't make a lot of coffee at home, most coffee shops have an abundance of coffee grounds that they are willing to give away. Let's get started and make sure you stay on the video to the end to not miss out 16 creative ways to use coffee grounds below today. But before we start, don't forget to click subscribe. Let go. For lies your garden? Most soil does not contain the essential nutrients needed for optimal plant growth. Also, as plants grow, they absorb nutrients from the soil, ultimately leaving it depleted. Thus, most gardens need to be fertilized to ensure that plants have the nourishment they need to survive. Coffee grounds contain several key minerals for plant growth, nitrogen, calcium, potassium, iron and phosphorus, magnesium, and chromium. They may also help absorb heavy metals that can contaminate soil. What's more, coffee grounds help attract worms, which are great for your garden. To use coffee grounds as fertilizer, simply sprinkle them onto the soil surrounding your plants. Summary, coffee grounds make great fertilizer because they contain several key nutrients required for plant growth. They can also help attract worms and decrease the concentrations of heavy metals in the soil. If you do not have an immediate need for fertilizer, you can compost your coffee grounds for later use. Composting is a natural process that turns organic items such as food scraps and yard debris into a dark, rich material called compost or humus. Adding compost to your yard or garden can help the soil hold onto more nutrients and water, thereby improving the health of your plants. One study found that compost made with coffee grounds and kitchen waste was richer in nutrients than compost made with waste alone. Another study compared four batches of compost containing zero, 10, 20, and 40% coffee grounds. The batch containing 40% coffee grounds produced the fewest greenhouse gas emissions and best quality compost. Other items to compost include grass clippings, leaves, bark, shredded newspaper, brush, herbs, eggshells, stale bread and fruit and vegetable trimmings. You should avoid composting meat and fish scraps, dairy products, diseased plants, grease, and oils. Summary adding compost to your garden can significantly improve the health of your plants. Coffee grounds can help increase nutrient levels and decrease the greenhouse gas emissions of your compost. 3. Repel insects and pests. Certain compounds found in coffee such caffeine and diterpenes, can be highly toxic to insects. Because of this, you can use coffee grounds to repel bugs. They are effective at deterring mosquitoes, fruit flies and beetles, and they may help keep other pests away too. To use coffee grounds as an insect and pest repellent, simply set out bowls of grounds or sprinkle them around outdoor seating areas. You can also keep pests out of your garden by scattering coffee grounds around your plants. They help create a barrier that slugs and snails do not like to crawl over. Fleas are a common problem in household pets, and treating them can be costly and time-consuming. There are several flea removal products on the market, but many contain harsh chemicals and can produce unwanted side effects. Luckily, fleas don't seem to like coffee, and you may want to consider coffee grounds as a natural treatment. Simply rub the grounds throughout your pets for after shampooing. Then rinse them off and allow your pet to dry as usual. Some say doing this may also add smoothness and shine to your pet's coat, but there is little to no research to support either of these claims. However, coffee grounds may be less effective than a prescription product, so if your pet has fleas and this treatment does not work, you may want to contact a vet to discuss alternative options. Also, coffee grounds should only be used externally. They can be toxic to dogs if consumed. Coffee grounds contain nitrogen, which helps eliminate a foul smell and sulfur gas from the air when it's combined with carbon. In other words, coffee grounds can help absorb and eliminate odors. You can place a bowl of coffee grounds in your fridge or freezer to neutralize odors from spoiled or fragrant foods. You can also fill old socks or pantyhose with coffee grounds and tie them off to make portable air fresheners. Place these in your shoes gym bag, bedroom drawers, under your car seat, or anywhere else that may need some deodorizing. You can even keep coffee grounds by the sink and use them to scrub your hands after chopping garlic or onions. The grounds will help remove the smell from your hands. Coffee grounds are abrasive 
and can help remove buildup on hard-to-clean surfaces. They may even help sanitize due to their antibacterial and antiviral properties. If you like to avoid cleaning with chemicals, used coffee grounds might be worth a try. Use them to scour your sink, polish your cookware, or clean your grill. Just be careful not to use them on any kind of porous material, as they can cause brown stains. 7. Scour your pots and pans. The coarse texture of coffee grounds makes them ideal for scrubbing hard to clean kitchen utensils. You can use them to scrape your dishes clean and remove cake on food from pots and pans. Simply sprinkle the grounds directly onto your pots and pans and scrub as usual. Make sure to rinse thoroughly afterward. 8. Exfoliate your skin. The coarse particles in coffee grounds work as an exfoliating agent to help remove dirt and dead cells from the skin. Simply mix coffee grounds with a little bit of water or coconut oil and scrub them with your hands directly onto your face and body. Coffee grounds can also be mixed with a small amount of honey and used as an exfoliating lip scrub. What's more, the caffeine in coffee grounds has potent antioxidant properties that can help protect the skin from sun damage. It can also increase blood flow, which aids in overall skin health. Summary Coffee grounds can be repurposed into an exfoliating scrub for your face and body. They help remove dirt and dead skin cells and promote overall skin health. 9. Reduce the appearance of cellulite. Cellulite is a condition that gives the skin a dimpled, lumpy appearance. It affects 80-90% of adult women. It occurs when fat deposits push through the connective tissue under your skin and is commonly seen in the buttocks and thighs. When caffeine such as that in coffee grounds is applied topically, it may help break down this fat and increase blood flow to the area, thus decreasing the appearance of cellulite. Simply mix grounds with water or coconut oil and scrub for 10 minutes twice weekly on any areas affected by cellulite. 10. Use IT as a natural dye. If you've ever spilled coffee on a white shirt, you know that it can leave a stain. By re and use coffee grounds, you can create an inexpensive and all-natural dye that can be used to color cotton, rayon, cellophane, linen, and paper. This is an easy way to give fabrics and paper a vintage look or disguise existing stains on your clothing and towels. Coffee grounds can even be used to dye Easter eggs or deepen the color of dark hair. Commercial food and hair dyes can contain hundreds of chemicals, many of which may cause cancer. Used coffee grounds make a great non-toxic alternative to traditional dyes. If you've dyed a piece of fabric or yarn that will be worn or used for sewing or knitting, make sure to wash it in cold water with a very mild laundry detergent before using it. Summary used coffee grounds are a great natural alternative to harsh chemical dyes. Simply re-wet them and use them to dye paper or fabric or darken brunette hair. 11. Clean your fireplace. Cleaning ashes from a wood-burning fireplace can be an incredibly messy task. By scattering used coffee grounds over the ashes, you can weigh them down and prevent smoke clouds from forming. This not only makes the ashes easier to remove, but it also keeps dust from escaping and traveling to other parts of the room. Summary Use coffee grounds to weigh down the ashes in your fireplace before cleaning. This makes for easier ash removal and less mess. 12. Tenderized Meat Meat contains muscle fibers and proteins that can give it a tough consistency. Tenderizing meat helps break them down, resulting in a softer texture. Salt, enzymes, and acids are three natural types of meat tenderizers. Coffee contains natural acids and enzymes, making it especially effective at tenderizing meat. The acidic nature of coffee can also help enhance the flavor of meat. Simply add used coffee grounds to your favorite dry rub recipe and apply the rub to the meat two hours before cooking. The grounds will get cooked onto the meat and form a dark, crispy crust. Alternatively, you can rub reuse grounds to make coffee, allow it to cool, and use it to marinate meat in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours before cooking. Summary, coffee grounds contain natural acids and enzymes that help tenderize meat and enhance its flavor. 13. Stimulate hair growth and strip buildup. Shampoos and styling products often leave residue behind that can dull and weigh down your hair. Exfoliating your scalp with coffee grounds can help remove buildup and dead skin cells. What's more, several test tube studies have found that caffeine, such as that in used coffee grounds, stimulates human hair growth. 
Similarly, human and animal studies have found that applying caffeine to the skin increases blood flow and accelerates hair growth. Before you shampoo, simply grab a handful of coffee grounds and massage them into your scalp and hair for a few minutes. Then wash and rinse as you normally would do these one to two times per week or as needed. 14. Repair Scratched Furniture If you own wooden furniture, you've probably noticed it can be easily scuffed and scratched various products can help minimize the appearance of scratches but before you run to the store, you might want to give coffee grounds a try. First, make a thick paste with used coffee grounds and water. Then rub the paste into the scratch using a cotton swab, allow it to sit for 5 to 10 minutes, and then wipe with a cotton rag. This should help buff out the scratch and conceal it by dyeing the exposed with a dark brown color. Continue to dab coffee into the scratch using a cotton swab until the desired color is achieved, waiting a few hours between applications. 15. Grow Mushrooms Mushrooms only thrive in specific conditions and are notoriously difficult to grow. For starters, they do not grow in ordinary garden soil, as they require a substrate or underlying substance or layer. Used coffee grounds make a great substrate because they are packed full of nutrients that mushrooms like to grow on. What's more, they have already been sterilized during the brewing process, which would otherwise be an extra step in the growing process how to grow mushrooms and use coffee grounds collect about 5.5 pounds 2 .5 kg, of grounds and moisten them using a spray bottle. Add a little over 1 pound 500 grams, of mushroom spore and sawdust mixture and mix well. You can look for this product at your local gardening store. Place resulting mixture into a filter patch grow bag, large freezer bag, or bucket and fill until approximately one-half to two-thirds full. Cut four holes about five millimeters in size into the size of your container above the grounds. If you are using an open container, cover it with cellophane and poke with a few more smaller holes. Lightly spray the grounds with water once daily or as needed to keep them moist. In about two to four weeks when you start to see dense white areas with little budding mushrooms, Move the container to an area with lighter and fresher air. When the mushrooms become plump and their caps turn upward, you can harvest them. You can use this method to grow just about any kind of mushroom, but shiitake and oyster varieties seem to be the easiest. Treat under eye circles. The skin surrounding the eyes is extremely delicate and contains very little fat tissue. Because of this, it's one of the first places you might see signs of aging. Many things can contribute to the development of dark circles and puffiness under the eyes, including fragile blood vessels, poor circulation, and inadequate skin quality. Coffee grounds seem to be a promising solution due to their high antioxidant and caffeine contents. Studies show that skincare products containing antioxidants and caffeine can help prevent the appearance of aging and reduce under eye circles. In particular, caffeine has anti inflammatory properties and stimulates blood circulation around the eyes which can help reduce the appearance of dark circles and swelling. The antioxidants in coffee can also help fight free radicals, which contribute to skin aging. Simply add water or coconut oil to your coffee grounds to form a paste. Apply the mixture under your eyes and let it sit for about 10 minutes before rinsing. Repeat this process daily or as needed. Next time you brew yourself a cup of coffee, consider repurposing the grounds using one of the ideas in this video. Please leave a comment below to let us know your opinion and which ways to use old coffee grounds you like. Thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.